Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to do um, the last part of um, um, the section that we started looking at um, in, um, in the report section. Um, this is the 2017 October November IGCC ICT paper 2 and um, we are going to do um, we are going to do that section for reports okay so um, step says um, we're going to produce a report which sorts the duration into ascending order then um, then ascending order of sale debt okay so what we need to do now is to import the query that we um, we, we we created in the previous video we're going to um, bring it now into access so okay so sorry that's just a reminder that i have a class coming up in the next 10 minutes so let's see if i can do this report um in less than 10 minutes okay okay oh boy uh -huh. okay sorry about that let me just go ahead and open the question paper again um so where we okay mm -hmm. now i'm racing against time <laughs> somebody once made a comment on my channel that why do you have to record videos when <laughs> you're in a hurry <laughs> you know and i was just laughing because they don't understand that um, i'm also working at the same time i have to find um, you know time in the shortest um you know spaces that i have in between my classes to do the some of the, the the videos that i'm doing it's actually a big favor that i'm doing many people to record some of these videos i'm not um, a full-time youtuber so to say i have a full-time job and this is just my part-time activity okay so um so where are we okay we are here um what we need to do now is to create um, a report widget um so let's go ahead and save this query um, so the report wizard that we are creating is based on the query that we need, um, that we just created. So get all the fields that you have there and go to next and just go to next, just go to next and don't do any sorting here. Okay. Um, I, I discourage students from doing sorting from this end because sometimes um, Microsoft, I mean, uh, access just messes up everything. You find that um, the, what you get from the max scheme um, is different from what you get when you make the sorting from here. I'll show you a simpler way of sorting um, your report um, uh, when we proceed from here. So the next one is just select that um, your report is going to be tabular like that. And let's check the orientation before we uh, we move from this page. The orientation is that it's supposed to be landscape. So we can change it from here to landscape. And also notice that we're supposed to uh, make sure that it fits on a single page wide. So single page wide means this part must be adjusted, adjust the field width so that all fields fit on a page, okay? Um, so this is this is fine, let's go to next. And um, here we can insert the title if you want. The, for the title for the report is actually supposed to be this one. So copy it and insert it in your report from here, paste it there and modify the report, okay? So we've done a couple of things here and um, yeah. So uh, the next thing that we're supposed to do is to perform um, um, some sorting. Okay, so let's sort the duration in ascending order, then in ascending order of sale debt. Now, what needs to be, uh, what needs to happen is that um, you need to um, preview this so that you check if the fields are visible. So um, uh, let's go to uh, layout view and notice that the sale debt is not visible. So you need to make sure that you adjust the width so that they are visible. Notice that this one, um, there's so much space on this one, so we can um, take advantage. So you just drag it to the right, uh, check that the fields are visible. It's not been cut. It's still, we still have some space, so I can drag it a bit further. Okay, everything is visible. And I'm going to also resize this one. Okay, so just get it, push it to the right. Okay, then resize it like that. Okay, well, that's too much. So just resize it like this and make sure that all the fields are fully visible. Okay, and then we're going to resize the debt, the sale debt. So just drag it here. Okay, um, that's that's visible. So I'm just going to bring this a little bit, this side. Yeah, okay. The next part that we need to adjust is this side here. The duration, notice it's not visible. So just drag it a little bit this side, but again, drag it to the right a little bit so that um, 
um, this international is visible. Um, we don't have, we don't want anything to be cut, any text to be cut. Um, the daily costs, okay, so I'm just going to resize it a little bit. And this resize it a little bit as well. I hope that doesn't affect it. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, I'm just going to drag it a little bit further and verify that it's not been affected, okay? So from here, I'll drag these two, um, just a little bit this side, one more time, this side. Um, so that's, um, let me see. So we can drag these, this side a bit, okay? And drag this one and this one, this one and this one. Drag them to the left. Okay, so we create some space. Then get this one and this one, this one and this one, and this one and this one. Drag them this side. Okay, so this kind of wastes some time if you are doing it like that. So drag it a little bit like that. That's fine. Um, then now we can resize this field this side. Okay, so just get it and get this one as well. Okay, so that should be fine. Um, that should be fine. Very good. Okay, so the next thing that you're supposed to do is once you resize that, you need to perform some sorting of, of some kind. So you need to make sure that um, you, have, you sort, first of all, in the order, in ascending order of duration and in ascending order, then ascending order of sale date. So what you need to do is go back to design view for the report, okay? Um, go back to design view. And what I'm going to do is um, go to home. Um, let's see. Um, mm -hmm. Design, then group and sorting, which is at the end there. Add a group, okay? Add a group at the end or add a sort. So in this case, we are adding a sort. So add a sort and we are sorting by, okay? So verify, we are sorting by the duration, first of all, in ascending order. So select duration. And ascending order is supposed to be from largest to um, to um, from smallest rather to largest then we sort by um, then we need to sort by um, the sale debt also in ascending order of that so for the sale debt um, you need to um, sort by sale debt um, so you start from what is ascending order <laughs> for the debt what is it ascend, what is ascending order of the debt <laughs> what is ascending order of the debt guys can somebody tell me something here? Um, is it from oldest to newest or from newest to oldest? Which one is ascending? So I think ascending would be um, from the, um, let's say from the oldest to the newest. I think that's what it should be because we, we will start with a date such as maybe the 3rd of January, then we'll go to the 4th of January, then we'll go to the 5th of January. That is ascending order. Okay, so it is from the oldest debt, okay, which will be on top, to the newest debt, which is going to be at the bottom. Okay, so if we are told to sell it in descending, then it will be the new debt on top, and then the um, the old debt at the bottom. Okay, so let's try to preview this. So report view. Notice that you've sorted the old debt is supposed to be at the top, and going down you'll see the new debt. Okay, and um, so that should be fine. Um, now, guys, I only have a few minutes remaining before my class begins. Um, my students are just coming outside there. Okay. So um, we are done with this one. We are done with this one. We're done with this one. We're done with this one. And we just need to do this one, and that should be it. These two. Okay. So let's put, first of all, the name and, and um, candidate number at the bottom of the report. Okay. So let's go ahead and change this into design view. Okay, design view, and um, we need to put in the report footer. So just verify that it's at the bottom of the report. Okay, um, it's the bottom of the report. So insert a label in the bottom of the report. This will be Chikasa Evans ZM 556 and 0001. Okay, and um, uh, disable this one. You don't need this one. Okay, so disable this one and just do that, okay? Um, the next thing or the last thing we're supposed to do is to work out the average, um, the average, um, to calculate the average duration, okay? So let's calculate the average duration. So notice the values that you have in the duration. 
they are whole numbers. So even your average should be a whole number, okay? So in the report footer, um, um, where we told this, this should be in the right what? So this bottom, just bottom of the report. So I'm going to drag this um, to the left, okay? And I'm going to put the average durations here. So insert um, control box here, text box, and let's put it this way. So this is the, um, the label is supposed to be um, average nights. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, um, just to so just copy this one and um, insert it here. And then um, for this one, we're going to put the average formula, AVG, and um, equal to AVG rather. And um, the brackets, then the square brackets, so duration, and that, okay, so that should be fine. Let's try to preview it. Go at the bottom, and you should find it as put the average there. So just need to make sure that this one is um, thin. So guys, I'm going to have to pause the video, so let me just get my student in class, and then I'll continue just in a short moment. Right, so we continue with where we left from, okay. So we found the average nights um, for the duration as 11.5555 and so on. What we need to do is to display this number as a whole number because um, all the um, duration nights, um, um, I mean, we do not have to have um, an, in, uh, not an integer. We don't have the decimal number with decimal points, okay? A real number, so to say, um, because we need to have Either there are four nights or two nights or 20 nights and stuff like that. So we need to um, set this <clears throat> to accept only integers. So what we need to do is go back to design view, select this table and go to the properties for this table. So go to format and then it says um, decimal places. You need to format to, um, let's say to zero, but you need to make sure that under format here you select, um, uh, let's see, you select fixed, okay? so that um, um, this number can be formatted to zero decimal places. So go to far, um, go to view and um, report view and notice at the end you have 12, okay? So it's just probably the position now of the 12 um, that looks a little bit weird. <laughs> it's at the end there, it's looking as though it's the average for this. So let's align it left, okay? So there's no harm in doing that. So just select the table and go to alignment, something somewhere text align, it's on general and make it text align left. Preview it again. Okay. And notice <clears throat> that now the text is aligned up on the left side, which is <clears throat> fairly um, fine. Okay. So go back to design view and I can um, push this maybe a little bit this side. Okay. So once we are done with this one, um, let's see now. So let's just verify that we're done with all this, okay? So contains a new field, this, okay, in the query we did all this. We've done the sorting, we've done the page orientation to landscape, we fit it on a single page white, it includes the, um, the heading Caribbean first voyages, um, it calculates the average, it has a label to this left of this number, and it has your name, central mechanic number at the bottom of the report, and you need to save and print your report, okay? So for the printout, um, probably just um, needs to go to file, then print, and then um, um, you should select um, which printer you 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 want to to print your report in. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, go to uh, print preview, for example. Um, notice that the duration is not fully visible. Okay. So you may lose a mark there. So you need to be very careful. So let me just see what we can do. So go to um, layout view. Um, here it lo it's looking as though it's it's okay. Um, so we can just do something a little bit like that. Then go to um, go back to um, uh, where uh, go to design view. Okay, is it design view? Um, let's go to home view print preview. And now the, cell, the um, cells are fully visible, and the field names are fully visible, and everything is, is perfectly fine. So from here, you now need just to go and do your printout. Um, um, it's going to be landscape and stuff like that. Um, 
You can select your paper size A4 if you want, and then go ahead and print this. So I'm not going to print this one um, because even if I print it, my printer is way uh, far from where I am. Okay. Um, so the next thing is uh, it's supposed to place your, in your evidence document screenshots showing the formula that you use to calculate the average. So go back here and go to um, design view and just get screenshot of this. Okay. And um, copy it and go to your evidence document, which is this one, and paste it right after. Okay. So step 23, just put it down there and paste the formula there. Okay. So, all right. So this marks the end of this section in this video. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video when we start to look at um, step number 24. All right.